I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be flirty women who have boyfriends. Well, what do you do when you become friends with a woman, maybe because she's a kind of like a, almost a second family member because maybe your family and her family is close, and so you've gotten to know each other over the years, and for whatever reason, you find yourself single, and for whatever reason, she seems to be texting you and calling you and talking to you. When you're talking on Skype, she's you know twirling her fingers in her hair and asking you advice about her boyfriend and do you think he's a good match for me? And so it's like, what do these things all mean? And I got an email here from a guy who's in that situation basically, and he says, "Hi, coach. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for all the videos you post. They are very helpful. Thank you. You're welcome." So here is my situation. I have been speaking to a girl overseas that I've known my whole life, and we have been chatting by Facebook and Skype very frequently over the past six months. I asked for her cell number, and she gave, gave it to me, but Skyping is better and cheaper, so we use that most often. The weird part about the situation is that we are almost considered like family, but we are not blood relatives. I know this for sure because her side of the family has no blood relation to mine. Her mom has a different mom, not on my side. Ah. So it's kind of like I had some friends of mine. They were like second cousins, and they were really only cousins by marriage, but they were married. Made for some interesting conversation at family events. <clears throat> he says, in any case, I'm going through a divorce, while I was, and while I was married... We spoke maybe once every three or four months. Just a casual, hello, how are you, very friendly and short conversation. Sometimes we wouldn't even speak, and that was expected. Since my divorce, we have become a lot closer, and we now speak almost every day. When we first started talking, everything was friendly and polite, and we never crossed any boundaries with regards to how we spoke to each other. She was always there for me and always gave me great advice and really became a great friend. Lately, I have become very confused because there are indications that there may be interest there. She has a boyfriend that she rarely ever speaks about, and when she does, it's always that she is so unsure of him and she can't say she loves him, only that he is a good guy and he cares for her. In other words, she's dating a very nice guy who she probably loves as a friend, but she doesn't love him. And he has no idea, I bet. She even asked my opinion of him and whether I think he is right for her. Coach, we talk about everything, and now more than ever, she initiates conversation almost 50% of the time. Some things she does that show interest. Well, here's the thing. I could Obviously, this whole thing started because you must have started contacting her more, and if she's initiating contact 50% of the time, ideally, you should be backing off a little bit because that should be 70 to 80% of the time she should be contacting you. And the only way you can do that is to just not contact her as much wait for her to, to get back to you or wait for her to contact you instead of you initiating all the time because when you initiate it all the time I mean this is a woman has a boyfriend now keep in mind and all, a lot of, a lot of you guys that watch my videos and stuff it's like and I used to do the same thing it's like oh boyfriend pfft, I don't care about him and then you stay hung up on a chick that's really unavailable it's not a good way to go some things she does that show interest tell She's very flirt flirty with me. She calls me honey, sweetie, my love, and all these cutie names that only started recently. That's a good sign. And that does communicate interest. I compliment her and she says I always make her feel good. That's important. I always, You always make her feel good. You gotta remember, women are emotional beings. And so it doesn't matter what you're saying or doing. The only thing that matters is how it makes her feel. If you make her feel good, that's a good sign. She says, I'm very buff and compliments me on my physique. In other words, she finds you attractive. That's what she's communicating to you. She even said, I have a sexy car. Oh, she must be thinking about having sex with you in your car. She always talks with me late at night, and she is always complimenting me. And when we are on Skype, she always flips her hair, smiles at me often, and makes it a point to get up and do something so I can see her figure. Also, I noticed that she's always available to talk whenever I want. She tells me she wants me to be happy, and she was always asking if I met someone. When a woman asks you, you say, yeah, I meet women all the time, but you know what? I always got room for one more. If I even mention a girl, whether it be a friend or not, she always wants to know what's happening. She has completely opened up to me as have I. 
She always apologizes, and I would say you need to read my book, dude. She always apologizes if she has to leave and always offers an explanation. Here's the kicker. She's coming to stay with me in September to attend my sister's wedding, and she will be here for three weeks. How lucky for you. I booked time off work to be able to take her out as she has never traveled to my country, Canada, before. Is there enough evidence that should tell me to go for it, or should I sit back? You should definitely sit back and do nothing. She's coming to see you. It's better to just be yourself. Don't start talking about all your insecurities and your fears and doubts. Don't start talking about your future together or anything. Just focus on making her laugh and having a good time. And you need to back off a little bit so she does most of the calling and pursuing. I would say you want to get that ratio up to at least 70%. Try in the next couple of weeks to get it up to 60 and then 70% by just slowly backing off. And over time, she'll pursue you more and more. And if you're unavailable because you're busy or whatever, that will make her want more. And so by the time she actually shows up for the wedding, she's ready to fuck your brains out. I mean, you guys are obviously in... It sounds like you're in the wedding together, so how convenient. And weddings are great because everybody feels good and there's love. I mean, I've gotten laid at a lot of weddings over the years. I booked time off to be at work, to be available. And so he says, should you sit back? And that's what I would do. Make Just start backing off a little bit. Don't initiate as much contact and let her do 70 to 80% of, of the initiating. And then you can just simply respond. He says, the situation is weird. I don't know if she's being friendly or she's really interested. I would say she's probably really interested. But the thing is, is she going to bring her boyfriend with her? That That's going to be kind of an odd situation. Unless she's just coming over there by herself. And I wouldn't talk about it. wouldn't bring it up. Just have fun with her. Let her talk. Let her ask you questions. Make sure she's doing 78% of the talking when you're Skyping by asking her questions. And you can be a little mysterious when she asks you something about yourself. Tell her. But just be kind of brief so you leave leave her. You don't tell her all the details. Why? Because you want her to be curious. You want her to wonder about you. And if she has to work to get to know you, it causes her to like you more. I know she cares about me, but in, in what way? Well, I guess we're going to find out when you get to town. Don't talk about this shit over Skype or the Internet. I just would like to avoid embarrassing myself. Your thoughts would be much appreciated. In the meantime, until she gets here, you obviously continue watching my videos and reading my articles. <clears throat> but you got to read my book so you can get the baseline knowledge. And a lot of that stuff is really not going to apply to your, your situation, especially because you already know her, you already have a rapport with her. And so I don't want you modifying your approach too significantly. But what I want you to, to do is to, is to be aware of all the things that you can say and do that will actually turn her off. And you can learn that stuff in my book. So you just simply don't say those things. You don't talk about those things. You don't ex exhibit those behaviors. And over the, the next several weeks until she gets here, or the next month or two, or I guess it's September, so it's several months. So by the time she gets here, she should be all wound up and totally be ready to fucking jump your bones when she's at your, your place. And so you're going to be hanging out together. So just go hang out and act like nothing. it's no big deal. And when she's around you, she'll be twirling her hands in her hair. She'll be touching your arm. and I mean, obviously, if she brings her boyfriend, it, then it's a buzzkill. And that's why, in the meantime, you should be practicing the skills that I teach with other women so you can meet other women and date other women and hook up and have a good time. Because at the end of the day, she, I mean, she lives like 12, 15 hours away. I know what it's like having a long-distance relationship with a gal that lives in the U.K. And it can be a real pain in the ass, especially with immigration and coming back and forth and all that stuff. So that's what I do. Get yourself prepared so when she gets here, you can you can be just totally squared away. AJ, do everything right. If she's here and she's touching your arm and she's bumping into you as you're walking by and she's twirling her hair around her finger and all that stuff and, and just you just, just say to her at some point when you're together and she's doing all that stuff, when she's touching you, you just say, I just think you need to fucking get it over with and kiss me. And say it like that and she'll kiss you, you make out and you just naturally... Move it into the bedroom slowly over time, just like I talk about in my book. So if you find this message of value, you can show your appreciation by going down to the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen. If you're watching this video on my website, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information in this video. And if you've got a question that you want to ask me, you can go to my website and click the Contact Me tab, which is going to be on the left-hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs maximum detailing your questions, your situation, and your challenges. 
You just got to give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the internet. I also get a lot of it from my paying phone coaching customers. And I got to focus on their emails first, but be patient. I will get back to you. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is going to be to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by clicking the products tab, which is at the top of any page of my website, and just follow the instructions. And I will talk to you soon.